Hey guys, uh, another day, another vlog. Uh, we didn't have one yesterday. I had to, this whole thing set up. I was going to talk about uh, how uh, failure on a project doesn't mean that you've uh, failed. It's just a, a setback and how you can pick yourself up. But then, while I was walking down in a town and uh, going to work, Jen phoned me up because she'd been uh, set upon by thugs. So, obviously I just dropped everything and uh, went back to make sure she was okay. Thankfully she's alright. Yeah, yeah, I got through it. Yeah. The, but um, they uh, were um, pretty nasty pieces of work and then they had the goal to follow me. Uh, luckily it seems that when we've reviewed um, CCTV footage with the police, um, I've managed to give them the slip, so whilst they were trolling through the estate with impunity, they didn't actually know where I got home, could just get out of the way. They haven't managed to actually do harm, but of course it's shaking them up. So naturally I, did, I didn't try and do a vlog or do anything, we just uh, wait for the police and make sure she's alright. Yeah, but we've got them on CCTV, um, good views of the, um, the faces, so the police are looking to make an example of them and looking to prosecute, mm. um, I think in the main because um, there's such um, reasonably clear CCTV pictures of them and from the CCTV footage it was quite apparent that um, it was obvious that they were looking for trouble so it's not a case of being able to um, argue the subjectivity of it. it, it's undisputable, you can see that they're trolling around looking for trouble, shouting abuse um, so the police are looking to uh, make an example of these two idiots. Uh, we'll hang them out to dry, hopefully. And that's what we want, because uh, it's inexcusable. That kind of behaviour should not be accepted. And thankfully the police are taking it uh, seriously this time. So that's good. Okay guys, here we have the old uh, Bolton Town Hall. Rather nice looking building I think. It's a good example of uh, older architecture. Didn't it burn down at one point, Jen? No, that's this one on the other side of the road, the old nightclub. Right, the, the old nightclub burnt down. Which is this one, which is now turned into trendy flat. I don't know what it was originally. Um, it was, um, I'm sure it was the temple or something, nightclub. I don't recall it being in use for very long. This is the weird thing about this building. Well, it was the town hall, but then the, the new town hall got built. And I'm it's much bigger. That. This town hall was in use probably for a reasonable length of time. It was probably built, I don't know, 1820s, 1830s maybe. 
So there'd have been 50 or 60 years worth of use, you have to remember. I think actually, yeah, now you mention it, yeah, you're probably right. And I'm just guessing that Bolton outgrew it. Um, yes, it did. Certainly very at much the time, so. Bolton uh, was a uh, very uh, industrialised town, a lot of um, weaving, uh, cloth making, textile industry, and uh, Certainly, it just it must have just exploded a bit like mm. towns like Bradford and Leeds. What you've got to remember is that in the 1830s, that would actually be a reasonable size of building. You, you know, you're right. I mean, it's got yeah. clearly got a large number of uh, rooms. Yeah. It was probably very good for the town until it outgrew it. What you'd have to look into is what size Bolton was back in the 1830s. Mm. You'd probably find that it was uh, really probably not much more than a, 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 a small town, an overgrown village. Mm. This yeah, building behind you is looking a bit worse for wear, isn't it? It is rather. Yeah. It's a, a pub. Well, it's wooden planters that are all just horribly uh, falling apart. It's a shame. I, it, it, does, uh, it does strike you as that the old heritage of the town is falling apart. But then again, that's the old heritage of the town as well, and that's looking very, very nice even now. Right, so yesterday we were talking about, well, yesterday I was going to be talking about uh, the idea of failure. And uh, you do fail a lot. Uh, my first uh, business I set up in, uh, when, when I was 14 in 94, and uh, it failed after a while. I mean, it was a moderate success at the time, but then uh, quickly went out of business because uh, business uh, practices changed, basically. I was doing uh, play-by-mail games. You could uh, send in your turn results and it was like a massive multiplayer game only via the post. And of course the email changed that and then the arrival of EverQuest changed that and all of that. So things fail, th things change, you move on. And that's uh, the moral that I want to put across today. It's something that, uh, I'm, I know Thomas Edison gets a really bad rap, but his, uh, motto, his uh, quote, which kind of became my motto, I haven't invented one way of making a light bulb, I found a thousand ways to not make a light bulb. And that's the, the thing, you, you fail, you pick yourself up, you go on, and you might fail again, but eventually you succeed once you've worked out what you're doing. That's been my approach to life, and I think, uh, Jen, you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, definitely. But mine's a little bit different. It's shamelessly lifted from uh, Arthur Ransom, and it's uh, always take a chance and you won't be sorry for it might have been. Yeah, and that's it exactly. Uh, I see a lot of people, uh, especially in uh, comics, which is one, one of the main things I do, that uh, produce work that is fantastic, but it doesn't get seen much, and they get uh, demoralised, and then they don't make any more comics. But you can't do that. If you want to make a, a career, you, you try, try, and try again, and keep trying, and eventually you get seen, you get noticed, things become a success, they pick up, and then you think, Ah, yes, I struggled a long time, but it was worth it. And that's that's what you have to do. That's life. You, you're not uh, you're not uh, guaranteed success on your first try, or your second try, or your thousandth try. But you'll get there eventually. You'll because luck eventually plays out. That's the the way to do it. That's why I've been doing comics for twenty odd years, and I've stuck with it because I love to do it. And uh, eventually, uh, it'll become a massive success. But I've also had a mind on the fact that you can't just <laughs> wait for all that time and not make a success without having backup plans and doing other things to keep you going. So it's not, I'm not, what, I'm not, what I want uh, people to take away from this is not that you should just plow on and plow on regardless. Yes, of course you might have to change tack. I mean, Knob Mouse wasn't a, a massive success because it's weird, it's surreal, and it's uh, science fantasy, and it's just odd. But All of the House was quite a success. Uh, Ink Proof Cannon wasn't a big success because an anthology title going online on a daily basis doesn't work. But uh, I know that now, but I didn't before I started it. And maybe once I put it into collections it'll work. It's things like that. You can't just go head on and uh, gamble everything on uh, something that doesn't work out. You've got to have backup plans, you've got to have other things going on, you've also got to have other sources of income. When I was doing All of the House I was working. That kind of thing. So that's how I paid the bills while I was doing it. And that's what you have to do as well. Plan around it. Plan for contingencies, let's put it that way. But always keep an eye on your dreams, keep sight of them, keep focused and keep trying. Okay, let's talk about the Article 50 judgment in the Supreme Court today. And I'll be very, very quick. Basically, I'm not surprised. If we're very honest, 
everyone expected this outcome. After the High Court ruled, it was going to be this, and there wasn't really a way around it. Do I think that we should just get on with things now? Yes. Do I think we should have just got on with things before? Yes. But uh, it's done now. It's all over with. It didn't uh, come as much of a surprise, and we're going forward anyway. The Lib Dems are crowing and strutting, saying, oh, we're going to demand X, Y, and Z. You can demand what you want. You're not going to get it. It's going to get a, a very quick piece of legislation, and we'll get on with it. That's it. This was just a delaying tactic, really, and there's not much to it. So there we go. That's that's my take on it. You can read the judgment. I'll put a link in the description bar to the judgment. But the long and short of it is, we all knew this was going to happen if we're all realistic. Now we're moving forward. Let's just get on with it. Let's do the job that's put in front of us. Okay, bye.